Hello, my name is Ted Harrison, and here's a story about how Christ has changed my life. I came to the realization at a very young age that Jesus Christ is the center of the universe. He is the reason that we are here in the first place. And so when I was eight years old, uh, I heard my dad and some other people talking about, about Christ, and I had my mom explain it to me. And uh, I, as an eight-year-old, you don't really get all that goes along with religion. You don't get all that goes on, you know, with the... The, the, all the mind stuff that goes along with, I mean, accepting Christ as your Savior. And so when I was, was little, my mom, my mom explained to me a verse in Romans that talks about the wages of sin being death, and, and then, but the gift of God is the eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And, and death kind of struck me because I kind of figured out what death was by the age of eight, and then I realized that I needed salvation in Christ. So I accepted him then and there and got baptized um, a little after that. Uh, the following Sunday, and so from then, I I, I re, I, I mean, I realized in that process that I I was without Christ, I was nothing. I, mean, I, I really was was uh, depraved. I, I didn't have there was something that just couldn't that was keeping me from fully living. Even at that young of an age, I understood that. Now, the problem was that I didn't really grasp a hold. I didn't really live necessarily that out. I I, I did I defined my Christianity by what I didn't do instead of by what I do, did do. And what, what I mean by that is I just told people, hey, I, I, I don't cuss, you know, I don't uh, go to parties, I don't do these things, I don't do that. When really Christianity is more about doing, it's about living your life as Christ has called you to follow him. To, it's an action, it's not, it's not a, a resting state, it's something that you do, it's something that you, you strive for. And, and so I didn't realize that until I was um, a junior really in high school. I, I had picked up on it earlier and at times done it, but just for a short period. But, but when I was a junior in high school, started an accountability group with some friends of mine, and we really grabbed a hold of what it meant to follow Christ. And from that from that day on, my, my life's truly been changed. I, I mean, I, I still make mistakes from all the time, but, but thankfully my Jesus has overcome this world. And you know what? Um, there's times where you go, or people will, will say, you know, like, well, how can you believe in a God? How can you do that with this and that and the other? And all I have to say is is I, I can I can fathom some things, but I cannot fathom there not being a God. I mean, people say, oh, just these things just happen. You know, Earth's just created. There's no God is evident in everywhere, everywhere we look. I, I look at the world around me. When you think about it, even the second we're in right now, I realize that it was constructed way before I even knew that I could even exist, way before uh, the first person on the planet ever was. God had constructed that, and God is that powerful, and, and it's and it's through His Son that He has reconciled me to Him, and I, He was the propitiation for my sin, and I, I get to rejoice in Jesus because of what He did on the cross. He died for my sin so that I might live. The God of the universe humbled Himself so that me, a sinner, someone who is imperfect, something that he created, something that he he created, he died for it, for me, so that I might live and live eternally and rejoice in him. Life's about living for his glory, and I encourage you to look look for Christ and look for the answer to life that I have found.